Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you are new, Manisa. And I did this nice updated golden bronze clam type of makeup look. And yeah, I used three palettes for this look and I used all the gold shades in them. I used the Jack and Hill Murphy palette. And the gold shade that I used in this one first was this one. And this one. And this one. This is not a gold shade, it's a brown shade with a little bit of gold in it. It's a type of bronzy type of shimmer brown shade that I use in the outer V corner. And I use the Wet n Wild, not a basic peach palette. And I use these two bronzy shades, gold shades. I use this one in the crease and this one on the lid. Those gold shades that I used in the in the Jack and Hill palette, I use the transition shades. I use those first. And Kylie Summer palette, I use my favorite gold shade, this one, on the lid. And I really like how this look turned out. And yeah, if you like this look and would recreate it, tag me on Instagram if you posted it. And yeah, give it a like and a comment. And subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell so you'll be notified. When I open new videos every Wednesday, buy my book Trouble Like Girls United. The link to the makeup products that I use and the book would be in the description. And yeah, follow me on my socials, my Instagram and my Twitter. And yeah, subscribe. I am going to do a golden bronze makeup look tutorial. I have done some golden bronze looks on my Instagram. Some pictures here and here and here and here. And I really like doing golden bronze looks. And it looks so pretty and natural and blind and fine. And I have done material on the golden bronze looks for years. I'm using my Maybelline I'm going to set my eyelid with some powder. I haven't done 
area than like two years ago when I had that video and I've grown since then so yeah I like this set and I picked up some eyeshadow palettes that I want to look Palette. I'm using this one. And also, might use two gold shades. for the gold shades and also this one this one or these two so yeah I have a lot of gold shades planned to use for this look I'm going to use this shade and this shade and this one these three for my transition shades then I go lightest and darkest. So first is this is silk cream. And that's gonna be the third shade on the top row. It's all over the eye. Which I'm using slightly bright. There was a problem with the internet and the TV in my neighborhood. Everyone, internet TV people got cut off. And so, the bell people have to come and fix it. And it took a while. So, I couldn't upload it yesterday. I mean, I was going to upload Sunday. I'm also gonna do I won't apologize as my main song right here. I love that song so much. Um that video is in the process of editing right now, so I'm gonna upload that maybe this week Sunday or earlier in this week. I'm also using the shade Pooter. The third shade on the second row. Building up the brown shade for my transition shade in the crease and on the lid.
blend it and shade I'm using, the last shade in my transition shade, is the shade water. golden shades and I'm going to use a darker golden shade first in this palette and using the same brush of course. It's really dark and you guys can't really tell if it's on my eyelids, but it will show what the on the other eyelid gold shades that I'm gonna use. So that's why I'm kinda using the darker shades.
someone just playing random YouTube music in the background. Next gold shade I'm gonna use is this one. I'm also planning on using this dark brown shade to have a little bit of gold in it. In the outer corner, doing the outer V corner, I'm gonna use this darker shade. So that's why I'm planning on using all of these shades. I'm gonna use this one all over my eyelid. Makeup wipes to use, so I have to use a wet rag. And this is our water. Jessie Page is my favorite YouTuber of all time, and she has a new Tarte palette that I want to get. And there's so much eyeshadow palettes that I'm using to get, but I don't know which ones I should get. You know, I want to get the Jessie to a fault. But some people say they're not as good as the most. So I'm going to get some Fenty products because I haven't tried any of those yet. And the new Too Fierce Place Foundation Concealer. I heard it's so good, I want to try those. So I can't wait to get my hands on that. I'm going to get an updated full face new products. You know, I need to update my game. Everything is every single makeup I use has been in my collection for years now, and I haven't really bought new stuff that I haven't finished just using. So that's why using the brow product that I use, the brow pomade, I've been using that since the last year. I haven't bought any more since. So yeah, I really need to start buying. So, yeah, keep subscribing to my channel and 
I really want to start posting some stories on YouTube and hopefully I'll get the community tab on YouTube. So, yeah. Um, can't really get them unless you have over a thousand subscribers. So, subscribe to my channel and you'll see a lot more active videos and stuff. It's gonna be really active on my channel. Yeah, that's my plan. Um, I'm gonna use a Wet n Wild palette. I've got this palette because Laura Lee, my favorite YouTuber, Laura Lee. Also for my channel, um, I've been looking at my views and they really stay at the same type of number for a while now. And it sucks too because my vlogs really does add more views to makeup tutorial and so I blame myself for deleting them. But I really do want to update my channel. So I deleted my vlogs and I'm gonna make a new channel for vlogs and I'm gonna start doing it really soon. So yeah. I'm using the lighter yellow shade, this lighter gold shade. The orange gold is really good to bronze up the gold that is in the dark. This is more like a bronze gold shade that I've been trying to stay down and go for this type of look. This is more what I'm saying for what the bronze gold shade should look like. The color has a bronze on the tone and sparkly. It's gold and crisp. So that's what I like in a bronze gold look. 
light in there. He was working on us because I introduced him to the song and he was working on the song with me. I love that. Mm -hmm. He was rubbing in the fall down.
the blue look and the black one would look really intense and dramatic. So a brown one will make it look nice and warm and calm. And I don't have a brown eye line, but I do have a white one. My brown eyes pop, but I will do that last. So, yeah. And for my outer beam, dark brown, bronzy, gold type of shade. It does have a little bit of gold in it. It's a really shimmery shade. Using this brown paper brush. be back I'll re-moisturize my face right after and yeah I'll finish off the rest of my face and stuff too so I've washed my face the fallout that was on the bottom side and I just moisturized again so yeah I am going to start with the rest of my face routine I'm going to mix two foundations my cover effects power play foundation and the shade golden 80 with my how these foundations look mixed together. This is face looks nice and dewy. And yet yeah, it's still matte and full coverage.
Dynamic 9 Maybelline Fit Me in shade 40 Caramel and Rimmel London Day Matte Concealer in shade Sand. It's kind of steamy. This weekend, I am going to the movies to see Ma. I really want to see that movie so badly. She's so badass. And I'm going with my ex-boyfriend and my cousin. So, yeah. How are you guys going to do this weekend? Um, I'll be on Memorial Day. And, yeah, um. I haven't seen my ex-boyfriend since the last time we broke up and I've texted him because I was bored and we've been talking since and yeah, we both need to get out of the house. over him and that's all I'm going to say about it and working on the music part I don't like I'm not a really good musician but I am using garage band on my phone I'm also looking for a studio near me that I can save up to be cool and hopefully I'll make my own soundcloud But once it's really, really perfect, my song, I'm gonna cover it. Um, Thank you. 
all the time. I remember when I used it the first time and I felt like, oh, this is really dark for me, so I might as well use it as contour. And it's really, it makes a really nice green contour. It is concealer and foundation, so yeah, it can be the contour. and really really nice But that's my fault for using too much product. It's really liquidy. And the more I use, the more difficult it takes to blend. So I'm gonna pause blend this side because it looks way too harsh. And I'm gonna stiff. I'm going to pause blend this side of my face because I use too much and it's a bit too harsh. how my skin looks and that's really dark powder foundation so yeah right now I'm just going to use my Maybelline Fit Me powder setting powder I'm gonna set my face a bit bake a little bit
tattoo at my face was my cover girl out of the bottom of I do have white eyeliner, and I can do no other lines, but it will make my eyes water. And right now, I don't want to keep it watery, so I'm not going to do that. Because once my eyes get watery in the corner, like it's mentioned a lot in the video, so you guys are probably tired of me hearing that. So I'm going to smudge a nice brown transition shade. Not much kind of doing much with it. I'm just gonna use this one in the Wet n Wild palette and this matte orange one. And I'm just gonna do that on the lower lash line. I'm going to use the same brush and for my inner corner highlight, I'm going to use my favorite white light highlighting shade in the Jack and Hill palette. I'm using this shade right here called Beam. Oh 
farther than in the corner or the way my eyes are supposed to be there. Makes my eyes look a little bit more wider. decide if I want to use a shade to highlight my brow bone or not. I've been getting better.
spices mixed in with molten gold, Maybelline Master Chrome. watching a lot of tutorials as I said and I really did drag down that highlighter Dragging that really down towards my final line and up in between my bronzer and blush contour. And up to the high points on my face and in the center of my forehead. Use my ring finger. I'm only using my molten gold highlighter to put on my nose bridge. And I'm gonna do something fun. I don't want to buy makeup. I want to get some oil and that bronzer gold body shimmer oil from head to toe. Get that before I But for now, I'm gonna use the hand I don't know if you guys can see it. Hiding my boobs. You can see how it looks. How did I do? And I'm gonna do my bottom lash. Sometimes I like this mascara and sometimes I don't because it really just brings my lashes close together and they stick together and try to separate them at the same time.
love how this look turns out. So I'm thinking of going bold into a red look since my eyes is kind of like neutral tone. I would do a simple brown, brown lip gloss, but I want to step it up a bit and a bold red lipstick. And you know I always use my favorite, the Naughty Gloss from Kylie Cosmetics. Guys, I 